Hey guys, it's Tape the Grape here, and as you may have seen some of my previous videos, we've been having slight issues where we'd come to a stop. I, I, now, when it happens, I'm freaking out because, you know, like, oh no. I get paranoid at things like this when the cars break. I can't tell if it dies right when it stops or if it's slowing down to stop, one of the two. But anyway, um, but either way, I'm close to a stop, whether I'm at a full stop or I'm close to a stop. It just starts running rough and then dies. And then that most recent time that happened, it wouldn't start up. Well, anyway, I talked to a couple of people that work on these cars. Well, more specifically, the 2.5 Chrysler engine that's in it four cylinder and they were saying something about the hall effect sensor i guess it's also known as the um distributor pickup whichever one's the right word or name for it i was told it's both but i don't know well anyway i went down to the advanced auto store or i'm sorry advanced auto parts on the other side of town because they had one in stock of the part that they that we might think could be wrong with it the Hall Effect Sensor or Distributor Pickup, whichever one it's actually known as, I'm not sure. And I'm actually taking it to the shop right now to uh, basically get installed because I don't know how to do it myself. And the guy that specifically told me about it, he, he lives on the other side of town. I could He told me I could drive it all the way over there for him to install it for completely free, which that's totally awesome, but I'm kind of frightened that it might die on my way from one side of town to the other and I don't have enough money for a tow. The shop I'm taking it to is literally just two blocks away. But yeah. Well anyway, the part I'm referring to, right underneath the distributor, this rec I, it's either the rectangle piece and the little um, um, horizontal cylindrical piece you see underneath or maybe it's just the horizontal cylindrical piece underneath. Um, but along with the, the wire that connects it, as you can see, it looks grimy, dirty, looks kind of old. I'm hoping that's what's actually wrong with it. If it is, and we replacing it fixes it, well, that, that'll be totally awesome, because that's really the only major problem this car has. You know, minus the slight battery drain, but that's whatever in the speedometer and RPM gauge half-ass working, but anyway. All right, so we got it back from the shop. This is actually a day later because uh, we tried paying yesterday with a card, but their card machine was down, so we had to pay for cash with cash today. Well, anyway, there's no point in me showing you under the hood of the new part because what I pointed out in the previous clip, I realized the part that we got replaced was actually encased in that, and I really all you, I'm sorry, all you'd really be able to see is just the brand new wire. But anyway, we don't know if it fixed it yet. Um, we've only driven it two blocks, you know, from the shop back home, but if it does die again, obviously that's not what was the culprit was, and I'll be sure to let you guys know, and we'll figure it out from there. But anyway, I hope you have a good day, and hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.